Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to highlight 10 interesting tutorial channels here on YouTube that I've been watching recently. So as you know, my channel is all about tutorials as well. I got more than 150 tutorials, mostly for Affinity software, but there's also another affordable creative software cover. But I'm not only a teacher, I'm also a student like everybody. We also uh, we are students and teachers same time, right? So I also watch some tutorials from other channels to learn something new. So today I'm going to show you the channels I've been watching recently, starting with the official channel for Affinity Software. That's the channel from developers. And I follow this channel mostly to get some interesting updates because every time they release a new version, there will be some kind of a developer inside or little workshop from them. As you can see here in the video, the last video was paused like one month ago, then three months ago. So that's not very frequently, but when they drop something, it's usually very related to a brand new added feature. It's something I wanna see in action before I try it myself, or maybe I just wanna be informed that this feature is finally added. I don't wanna be in the darkness, so I'm waiting for it, but it's already there. It's something that happens, right? With so many updates. So yeah, that's why I follow them to see new features, not very frequent updates, but they are really good videos, especially if you are new to version two, when they release version two, they drop several like long videos. Here's the 21 minute long video about iPad. There is also the one, you see one hour long video about Affinity 4.2. There's the same one about Affinity Designer. So check out the official channel as well. If you are into Affinity software, the next channel I want to recommend is Blue Lightning TV. This channel is focused mostly around the software I do not use. That's strange, right? Because it's mostly Photoshop. I moved away from Photoshop a few years ago, but it's kind of like Bob Ross experience for me. <laughs> if you ever watch Blue Lightning TV, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's very relaxing, very like slow paced of the lesson, it, it kind of explaining every detail, all the basics cover every time. So I like to watch this one as a kind of relaxing experience. Plus I sometimes wanna see a new features in Photoshop. I wanna keep track on that software as well. And several times I see really interesting tutorial in Photoshop using some uh, Photoshop feature and I wanna challenge myself. Can I do this in GIMP? Can I do this in Affinity Photo? Can I do this in Adobe Alternative software in similar manner? So sometimes I watch Photoshop tutorials just to have some kind of a challenge and then try to recreate, try to find a similar workflow, similar result, maybe different workflow, but similar result for those tutorials, but in different software. That's what I like about this channel. And as I mentioned, it's very relaxing. So you can check it out through Lightning TV. It's mostly about Photoshop. The next channel I've been watching is freecodecamp.org. There's a great website and also some video tutorials and look how scary they are. So this one is 14 hours long, <laughs> super scary. Look at it and I, I don't want to do that. But that's something you should take easy step by step with some reading materials, articles, exercises. You don't want to go through 14 hours of video <laughs> one stretch, right? As you can see, technical stuff, computer science related stuff, some programming and coding in HTML. We got some Python, JavaScript. So something I also look forward to learn. And this is a great YouTube channel for that. It's almost feel like stealing that you can get like three hour lecture about something that people go and attend universities to learn about here on YouTube. That's great. All right, what's next? Channel number four, I would like to recommend that's Pix Imperfect. So this is also about Adobe products and I watch it for the, the similar reason. I want to see what's new in Photoshop. I don't want to buy Photoshop to check out what's new. So I just want to watch a video of somebody else using Photoshop. To, so I know what was recently added to the program. And also sometimes I see interesting tutorial in Photoshop and I want to challenge myself. Can I do this? Can I get the similar effect? using a cheaper software. All right. So that's the reason here. 
and they also like to cover like the very recent features recent updates so that's what i'm looking forward to to see all right the next one is a vectorator this is a mac software so keep that in mind if you're using windows you cannot use vectorator unfortunately not just yet but mac os and also ipad os as well so that's a really interesting free vector software very, very nice entry level software i like the design language of the interface and i like all the frequent updates with new features so i also follow the official channel for that reason because sometimes i just keep using it for weeks for months and i don't want to know what's new so i got like pop up on my feed with some new feature or some interesting tutorial to keep track on this interesting software alternative software to adobe programs all right the next one is from a designer illustrator chris piasek i think uh, i pronounced it this way okay so this one is about guy that was using procreate but switched recently to adobe fresco so those illustrations are vector based and that's interesting for me because i like vector graphics more than raster graphics and this is kind of this handmade vector based graphics and the production quality is super high i think i found this channel a month back or two months and it was really like super low subscriber count and now you can see it's already on six thousand i'm guessing it will be 60,000 at least at the end of the year because you can see the production quality and the content quality is so high the subscriber will just keep coming so it's it's really interesting channel as i mentioned a lot of fresco content so if you like to create your design on ipad you should definitely check it out this is like one of this adobe software they tolerate because there's a proper free version not because Adobe changed their mind and now they are good, simply because it's domin the, the market is dominated by, <laughs> by, Pro by Procreate, right? So they have no other choice but release their own software for free. It was same with, with Figma, right? Figma dominate the market, so they have to release the Adobe XD for free to match the competitors. So that's nothing about Adobe being a good boy anymore. It's more like they try to match the, the industry leader. So that's why they release Fresco, in my opinion, at least for free. And this guy is using Fresco to make some crazy illustrations and even animations. So you can check it out. I learned things on too about Adobe Fresco from his tutorials and it's really good stuff. I recommend this channel as well. The next one, next one is kind of a very well if you're new to grant no channel among people that learn about alternative creative software, not Adobe based, but Inkscape, Game, or Affinity, because Logos by Nick covered this all. It's, it's kind of like one of the best channels for, for Inkscape, in my opinion, but also cover Affinity and different software, non-Adobe software here. So it's really good stuff as well. And I like watching those tutorials. There are also really good articles. Sometimes there's a tutorial or video and then there's a link. You can go to the blog and there's like a long article about the same topic. It's really good stuff. It was a like, like great video where he compared Inkscape to Affinity version 1. It was a really good one. And there was like very long article like comparing every aspect of the software. That was good stuff. I hope for something similar for version 2. All right, so Logos by Nick. I recommend this tutorial channel as well. The next one is cheating here because that's Machiavella. So that's not exactly about graphic design, but it's it's kind of tutorial channel. So this guy is taking all of those like challenges, like for example, you should walk 10,000 steps a day. He will take this challenge and he will try to do it for like 30 days, for one month. So you can track this journey and see how it's worked for him and kind of learn from that. So you got educational value in my opinion. That's why I will like to watch this channel as well. All right, moving forward, this one, GCF Learn Free. This is very nice channel if you are educated like myself and you need to find a short video 
to send to somebody <laughs> like okay what is pie chart and then you got four minutes long video explaining that you can send it to your student to your cousin niece grandpa <laughs> so we are so many little videos explaining uh, one aspect of something little tutorials about everything so this is really good one you can learn a lot from here and are really short and to the point so that's that's the good stuff no long introduction <laughs> clicking the bell and stuff like that just to the point two minutes long one minute long tutorials that about one little thing this is really good channel recommending and the last one i want to mention today is envato tats plus so that's kind of the website with like premium tutorials that you need to like pay for but they got their own youtube channel when they release some free content to let's say loom maybe more people into that premium side as well so let's use that free content here on youtube <laughs> that's what i do so as you can see they release uh, new tutorials frequently covering a variety of different apps so the good thing here is like they do not focus on like one app okay i think designer or, or, or publisher or photoshop or figma and this is like mix of apps you, you will never know what will be the next video about is that figma or maybe photoshop or maybe affinity designer right so i like to follow this channel to see something new challenge myself to learn about new software as well all right so that's my 10 channels i've been watching recently and i hope we will have a little bit of discussion down there i hope you will recommend me at least one good tutorial channel with some kind of educational content somehow related to creative software all right i hope you found at least one new channel in my list that will give it a try and i will see you in the next video bye